Hi, this is Chip with Web Video Chefs. Today, I want to show you how to keyframe effects. And a keyframing is a very, very popular thing in any editing program. And in Final Cut Pro 10, I'm going to show you how to keyframe some effects onto a clip or portions of a clip. All right, let's say we have a long clip here of a talking head guy talking here. And um, what we're going to do first is a three step process how we keyframe uh, effect. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my effects browser. And once I click here, that is uh, Control 5, um, Command 5, I'm sorry, if I want to go here. One thing I like about Final Cut Pro 10 is that you can click on a timeline. And then if I want to see the effect, how it looks, without even, I can scrub the playhead and scrub these effects right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use. Uh, a high contrast one I like. I saw that one, so I'm going to go down here and let's go to high contrast. All right, well, we'll just try this one here, heat wave. All right, let's try this. This gives us a real hot feel. So, what I can do, I can double click there, and then once I double click, it's on the entire clip. But let's say I just want it to on part of the clip. So, let's just say I want it to start from here and I want it to end. Know, right there or something like that so first thing I'm going to do of course is open my inspector so if you click on the I or command 4 you can click on the inspector and once you click on the inspector I see the effect right here heat wave so first thing I'm going to do I'm going to put my my uh, playhead uh, right here where I'm going to start him and then what I'm going to do click on this button right here and hit add keyframe once I add a keyframe a little bar like this comes up and then um, I can make some adjustments there but I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to add another keyframe I'm going to click on here click on that one right there and then if I want to make some adjustments there I can just make some adjustments and not make it as there so you see it just moves from there from light to there from dark to bright to light now, to see this and to see, say if y'all want to remove a keyframe or something like that, you're going to press Control V as in Victor, and then you're going to go up, and you'll see the two keyframes right here. So if I wanted to move this down some to start it a little bit later, if I want to delete the keyframe, I would just click on the delete button right here and do it like that. So I could just undo that, or I can move that down some right here the heat wave the effect now all these things can be keyframed a lot of these uh, a lot of these uh, features and um, effects on Final Cut Pro 10 can be keyframed out but that's a quick way of how to add uh, an effect to a certain portion of a clip with keyframes